So CLL uh, modifies the immune system. So just having CLL, whether or not it's been treated, puts people at risk for secondary cancers and a higher rate of infection simply having the disease. This is also true in a related condition called monoclonal B lymphocytosis, where it's basically CLL cells or similar cells, but at a smaller concentration. So it's definitely an impact of these CLL cells on the immune system. So once we developed these targeted agents, you know, the question is, ibrutinib modifies the immune system. Can you help people avoid some of these infectious complications by treating them sooner and not letting their immune system be exposed to untreated CLL for as long? In the chemoimmunotherapy experience, we know very well that treating people sooner when they don't have traditional treatment indications does not help them live any longer or any better, and it doesn't reduce risk of infections. However, that's a completely unanswered question with ibrutinib. So it's quite possible that getting people earlier in their treatment course before they've been exposed to a lot of other treatments and before you've allowed their immune system to really become significantly altered by the duration of their CLL, if you give them an effective CLL treatment that's an immune modifying agent, can, can you then go on to help them avoid longer term immunologic complications of the CLL? So the study takes high risk patients, so people that are likely to need CLL treatment in the next couple of years, and gives them ibrutinib before they have a traditional treatment indication. So it's an earlier intervention than they would otherwise have had in terms of treatment. And the objective is to study the immune function. So the trial includes a vaccination schedule. So some people are given vaccines and then given ibrutinib, and some are given ibrutinib and then given vaccines once they're on ibrutinib. And then we're looking at vaccine responses to see if you can establish an immune response against a, a, a antigen from a, from a pathogen you know, kind of providing evidence that ibrutinib either does or doesn't help with these responses. The other reason for doing this with vaccines is that traditionally in people with CLL, response rates to vaccines are low, meaning compared to healthy controls, the immunity you get from the vaccine is less. So it's possible that giving ibrutinib and the vaccine will help the vaccines work better in terms of protecting people from infections, which is a major concern.